Yeah, yeah keep bowling, keep bowling. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Ann. Now, why have you stayed in Florence if you love Marion so I much? I know it. Somebody said the other day, you know, why, why do you do that? Well, I love the place, and I want you to come, you and Alyssa to come see me sometime. Yeah. I do live in one of the prettiest spots in Florence. It's the yeah. only hill. It's only hill. And it's hill. Cherokee Road, and it's pretty woods. And uh, I knew the little lady that, that owned the house. Yeah. And uh, I just, I, I, I don't know. I thought about going to the end. Uh, but, you know, after a while, when you just keep putting off and you stay, I do have some nice young friends. I've made young friends so they I, can take me places. I see? bet you have, yeah, yes. Yeah. Good thinking. Uh, you know about the, the four women that played bridge. No. And um, every week. And one week, one was missing. And they waited and waited. And finally, she came in. They said, well, why are you late? And she said, I got married last night. And they said, married? What in the world? Is he rich? No. Is he good looking? No. Well, what did you marry him for? He can drive at night. <laughs> so, so I found some young people yes, that can drive at I night. I love it. Are you about to get married? I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I, I don't want to limit my being just the right. daytime thing, see, you know. So, so Pete can answer for that. You know, yes. he, he, he's a very nice escort. Oh, yeah, know? he is. He um, is. But going back to all of a sudden, uh, I was out of uh, what, adolescent, and I was, I was a teenager. But they, we never said that word, you know. Right. And we just had the, the best memories. We loved football. And you talk about a, a rival, or a Clemson and Carolina, it was nothing like Marion and Mullen. I mean, we Mullen. would kill each other if we right. didn't win, you know. Yeah. It was yeah. just, it was something like that, you know. And then uh, in the summertime, uh, we just had more fun going to Merle's in it and sitting at the end of the, of the piers and telling ghost stories and, oh, yeah. and um, walking to the station and getting a black cow. That, you know what that was? That was something on a stick. That, you know? The caramel <laughs> thing. Yeah, 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 yeah I yeah, still yeah. have some teeth. Yeah. And, and, uh, but then we started noticing boys and we started getting interested in dancing oh, and man. dating. And I can here tell you that Marin had the best dancers in the world. When I was visiting in Florence one time, right. and the, uh, one of the high school clubs was having a dance out at the country club, they asked me to make a list of the boys from Marin no, to come. To come. Because be, they to could dance, dance yeah. Uh, and, and most of them looked pretty good, too. Wow. <laughs> you know? Even better, yeah. So uh, I didn't really at the time, but we actually, it, it developed that we were called jitterbugs. Jitterbugs. So I tell, I'm not ashamed of it. And you wouldn't have the shag if it hadn't been for Jitterbug. Jitterbug. I mean, it developed right. from it, you know. Right, right. But we danced and danced. But when I was still small and too young to go to the dances at the Ocean Forest Hotel, you know about the Ocean I've, Forest? I've heard about it. It was a little well, before my time. Well, it was a, a Greenbrier a homestead in Myrtle right. Beach. It was right. perfectly beautiful. Yes. Built at the wrong time, but hung on and hung on. And in 74, it, it had to, it had mm. to go. Mm. And so we were all working down at Myrtle's Inn and uh, my children and I. And we went over every day. And um, mm. I bought three windows out of the ballroom, and they're in my house. Is that right? In and your I house have, in Florence? Yeah, I right. have a chandelier from there. And we, we bought everything we could. Well, we ought to tell chairs. Jack Th Thompson, the unofficial historian of Myrtle Beach, that someone has all that. I, <laughs> yes, I don't know. Well, I think other people, yeah, you know, did yeah, too. picked up great yeah. pieces. Yeah. But um, uh, we went swimming at um, Sandy Bluff. Mm -hmm. A little Petey River played a big part in our lives. Right. And so we would go swimming in the river. Mm -hmm. And um, I really didn't learn to swim until I went to Hartsville and learned in Prestwood Lake. But uh, we danced and we, swam, and we came to Myrtle Beach to the pavilion. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you call it North Myrtle Beach, but I'll probably never call it Myrtle, North Myrtle Beach. It was Ocean Drive yeah. and Crescent Beach right, and Cherry right. Grove, Cherry you Grove. Know? Right. And oh, we had great fun at, at um, Ocean Drive. There's a big old pavilion, the old wooden pavilion. Oh. And we had more fun there. And, uh, but we danced, we danced. And everybody danced almost, but there was one cute boy from Marion that never danced. Oh. And he went to every dance. And so finally the boy said one night, I said, Fred, why do you come to all the dances and you never dance? Right. And he said, well, I want to tell you, I might can't dance, but I sure can in a mish. <laughs> <laughs> and, he can and so, um, I, I don't know, it's just a, <laughs> it's just a, uh, a thing that you really can't explain. But yeah. that, uh, and I'm sure that there are people that feel just as strongly about Darlington and Bennettsville. I love oh, yeah. them. In yeah. fact, I think maybe Darlington is as close to Marion as you know, it, as it, anything, it, it, right, anything, sure. You know. Now you mentioned Hartsville. You spent some time. Oh, uh, I did. Um, my oldest sister uh, was 18 when I was born, 
18. And, yeah, she was having a date on the front porch, and I was born in the back room. No. <laughs> so, wow. so she, I had I actually had three mothers. I had my real mother and my Aunt Eddie, that was my father's um, sister that lived with us. Right. And, and, and Hattie Bell. Hattie Bell. So Bell. all of y'all, I think you mentioned earlier Ann Wilson. A lot of people yeah, know you as yeah. Ann Wilson. Ella, a lot Ella, of y'all Ella was just names. Ella. Right. And Adelaide was just Adelaide, but, mm -hmm. but Hattie Bell. And Hattie Bell always held it against Mother Book because actually she was named for my grandmother who was born in Columbia, and she was a Miss Harriet Bell. Oh. So Hattie Bell said, why didn't Mother name me Harriet? Yeah. But after Grandmother moved to Marion, everybody called and started calling her Miss Hattie. And uh -huh. so Mother just named her Hattie Bell. You know? that, right. And Hattie Bell was quite a character. Do you know that uh, I was talking to uh, Mr. Lovelace, right. and he married Cathcart Smith's daughter. Uh -huh. And Cathcart Smith's mother and my sister Hadbell swapped properties at Merle's in it. No. <laughs> yeah. So it's a small world, isn't I it? I did not know that. So yeah. Rebecca, his wife must be from Marion then. Well, no Mullins. Oh, from Mullins. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. you're very clear on that. I'm very not clear Marion. On that. But very she's from Marion County yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fascinating. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. We'll have to ask mm -hmm. him about that tomorrow when he comes mm -hmm. in. That uh -huh. is wonderful. But you know, they call it hanging out now. But in Marion, um, well, we'd go to Marion High School, right. and then we'd come home. And you know, we would never want to ride a, a, a ride. Uh, we always wanted to walk through Main Street because the merchants would come out and talk to us and ask us what kind of day we had, you oh, know. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah. and so, um, but um, it was just so much fun. We would hang out, as they say now, at Bridges Drugstore. And huh. you couldn't wait to get in the drugstore and see who was sitting in the booth with whom, you know. Uh, what boy was sitting oh, yeah. with what girl, yeah, you know. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was a Pines Diner that was famous. In Marion. In Marion. All this is oh, in Marion. Oh, everything's in Marion. Everything's yeah, in Marion. Yeah. You know? Everything's in Marion. I love that. <laughs> now, that should be the name of your book. <laughs> everything's, everything's in Marion. Marion. Yeah. Uh, well, they've already told me. I, if I decide to sell, I'll never sell any in Florence, but I might sell some in Marion, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But, oh, you couldn't wait to drive up to the Pines Diner and look at all in the other cars and see who was dating who, you know. And no. And, you know, it, it, it sounds so simple and so, uh, but it, we, we had a lot of fun. We just yeah. had a lot of fun. And there was no, no worrying about much of anything. And, and uh, I'm sure they did. And, and like now I if said, there was anything from back then, we've only got a couple of minutes. Uh -huh. I mean, is there something you would love to see from back then? Or is there something even today that you would have loved to have taken back then? Is there, is the crossover, do you prefer being living here in 2011? Um, well, or would you think maybe in the 30s and 40s you'd like to get back to that? I, you know, they say don't live in the past. But I mean, when you think about it, and think about how glorious it was. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm thankful that I'm yeah, here. Yeah. But being old isn't as much fun, you know, Ooh, as yeah. then, you know. I'm just a, a girl in an old body, you know, of something. Oh, I no. still want to dance, you know, yeah. and I still. And, and so sometimes I think, well, you know, living in the past isn't so bad. If you don't take it to extreme, you know. Yeah. And I love to keep up with things. Yeah. I don't know how I got politically involved, you know, when Eisenhower was coming along. But I did, so I've been doing a lot of that. And um, I'm but I, I don't know, sometimes I sort of wish it was, um, and now I know Marion's changed. I, I'm talking about the 30s, and I know it's changed. Right, right. And uh, they said, my house is still there. Empty. The home you grew and, up in? Yes, and um, the girl that owns it won't sell it, won't do anything to it, lives out in the country because she loves horses. And, uh, oh, if I were a rich man, like they said, <laughs> I would buy that house just to, you know, just, just to, to keep it, it. You yeah, know, just sure, to keep it. Sure. We had a front porch that went all the way around, uh, and there was Mo Dayton and Mo uh, rocking on, on that front porch, and you can believe. One of my best friends, Kenneth Owen, said, do you know when I first kissed my wife? And I said, no. he said it was in one of your swings on that porch. <laughs> you know, it went around, so we had a swing on each side, you right. know. And I can't imagine. See, living without a, a front porch. Yeah. I mean, we did everything, and we had to run out there and see who was going by and uh, what was going on, you know. Damn. And we hung around the Confederate monument that used to be in the middle of the town. And everybody from Charlotte and um, Rockingham and all those places that wanted to get to Myrtle Beach, they had to go through Marion. There was no bypass. Right. So we'd hang around that monument, and they would stop and talk to us, you know, and right. we'd have more Damn. fun. And one day these people stopped, and there was a nice man in Marion that was sort of simple-minded, a sweet man. And uh, they stopped and asked him if they were headed for Myrtle Beach, if this was the way. And he said, well, no, you, you go down that road, but you better turn. And then you turn back, 
And then you might go straight, you know, well, they looked at him and they said, you know, you are crazy. He said, well, lady, I might be crazy, but I ain't lost. <laughs> so, I love it. That's a great way to wrap. I'm embarrassed to say we've run out of time. Oh, thank no, you so no. much you have to stop me, for know. being with us. I know you've been great. I didn't have to go over any of these questions that we use to see, prepare I, for I'm the I'm never interview. happier when I'm talking about marriage. I love it. Peter. That is You're tremendous. Good. Stay tuned for a little more All-American People with Ann Powell of Marion coming up next. can have it. All it takes is pre-planning and the knowledge that all the tough decisions have been made. about the firm you've chosen. Not to worry. You can transfer your prearrangements to us as we honor most plans. After all, pre-planning is about removing burdens from your family. So isn't it good to know you can trust us to be here? Can you say there's no one else quite like me? Is each new day another opportunity to prove you're unique? If so, you have reason to celebrate. Imagine your life's accomplishments, passions, and dreams memorialized beyond your photo album. A way to leave a permanent impression, a personalized celebration of your life. After all, there isn't anybody quite like you, which is why we don't think our funeral services should be quite like anything else. You oftentimes hear Ann talked about as a product of the greatest generation. If you've sat here the last 25 minutes, it's pretty obvious you can see why. We ran out of time. We wanted to have the chance to share a little bit about Ann. Has some great stories about my father-in-law's grandfather. So we're going to have to get her back another time to hear some of those stories and to have the chance to elaborate a little more about Marion and Merle's Inlet, but particularly about Marion and her continued love day in and day out of that special place. Ann Powell, thanks oh, so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having morning. me again. Thank you so much.